to Sea Fishing with CJ support your local tackle shops campaign, Cornwall. So this is Pete's, yeah, are you Pete? I'm Jamie, his son-in-law. Oh, okay. Um, in the centre of Plymouth, very easy to find. He does stock air guns, soft, soft air and whatever, but obviously we're more interested in the fishing. Um, do you do bait? Yeah, we've got frozen baits. Frozen baits, yeah. So we've got some nice frozen baits. Nice frozen baits. All right, nice sand eels. Okay, selection of, of the gear that you would want for fishing off the beach. Oh, look at that. Nice bubble floats. Oh, nice squid. That's Squids. quite hard to get, getting to be quite hard to get hold of at the moment, I'm led to believe. Um, would you do, what, would you be able to do a beginner's beach setup? Yeah, yeah we've, we've got like we've got a 12 foot beach house to deal with a rod and reel right that was 49 pounds 49 pound okay so less than 50 quid and would that come with any intact or would you expect in a body um we normally what we normally do then if, if they wanted it for like a complete setup we yeah. chuck some bits and bobs in yeah. and it goes up to 55 pounds yeah we do like a little spinning set which right. is we've got that one there which is an eight foot like carp stalker rod yeah but a lot of people like using that one there for spinning. Yeah. In pepper and with, and we do that one there with a yeah. reel for yeah. twenty-eight pounds. Oh wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And we also with that, we also do it with um, some feathers, yeah. weights for thirty-two, or with a float kit and a set of feathers and weights, still thirty-two pounds. So you got, you can do a bit of float. You can yeah. Do a bit of lure coming back in later on in my sidewinders. The, the I, I, I'm a big fan of sign riders, I must admit. And we've got some new ones that are just coming in. What were those? Those three coloured ones. Candy store. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I, I pre-ordered some. I got some turn up this week, actually. Yeah, we've yeah. got them coming in. Right. And the bass hunters, the bass assassin, yeah. bass pack cod squad. Yeah. I tell you, excellent. Thanks very much. Right, so we're at the market tackle and bait, which is Bassman's bounty baits. Um, Paul Bassman. Is it? So, so Paul, do you do baits? Yes, mate. Yeah, I've got really fresh frozen stuff in the freezer. Right. Uh, most of it's bought from Plymouth Auction, Plymouth Market. Yeah, yeah. And I've got live lug, live rag, uh, crab in most of the time. Not at the moment, but yeah, all good, mate. Okay, excellent. Does anybody here do live sand eels as a matter of interest? Not anymore. It's a dying, it's a dying yeah. trade. Oh, you got blueies. Excellent, and a great selection of lures. As I say, you know, it's it's not stock with the stuff you don't want. Ooh, like the look of those. And I'm one of the only eagle claw stockists as well. And uh, do you have claw. got do you have access to eagle claw for stuff you haven't got on the shelf? Yep, I've got the whole catalogue here. Look, I've got. Because I was through, getting all my eagle claw from Cabela's, but through, you can't, you through RubenHeaton.com. Right. He sorts me out. Um, he's in charge of eagle claw Europe. Right. So basically, anything in there, right? Yeah. I can get. So you are you blast freezing them yourself, are you? Yeah, that's right. Oh, so okay. there you go, look, Bassman's Bounty Baits. Oh, awesome. And you see the colour of the blood on them, look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're okay. like four days old. Yeah, yeah. They're fantastic. not four days old, they've been... Yeah. They're four hours old, but they've only been in there four days. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll be gone by the end of the day, probably. Mm. Yeah. So we were catching them off the beach, a mackerel, that size. Yeah. Get smaller than that. YouTuber, I will put links to his channels and what have you on here. Uh, and his groups um, it's in the market easy enough to find and like with all these sort of little smaller shops it is only stocks the stuff you want so it's good stuff yeah good yeah, stuff quality stuff I've got cheap and cheerful yeah cheap combos right so I mean that's mid -range stuff. we get asked a lot that you know yeah. what what could you do if I, if I was saying I want to go and do a bit of mackerel freshen off the beach yeah, any one of these, all the holiday anglers are coming down, they're just yeah. wiping them out off the shelves. Yeah, yeah, so a 37 good. pound combo. Yeah. With a, with a what's, what's that reel? Big fixed reel. What is it, what make is that? It's WSB reel. Right, okay. Nice yeah. budget setup. 35 quid. And and would you throw in some feathers and a weight for that, or do they have to buy that separate? Oh, now, now, now you're taking the... <laughs> Yeah, proverbial, yeah. taking the proverbial. I've, I've not been known to take the proverbial very much. No, so here we go. Lovely job. Thanks very much. And he's now part of our campaign. Right, so here we are. We're in Plymouth and we are in... 
Sorry about that. You, you caught me by surprise. <laughs> Plymouth Angling Centre. Plymouth Angling Centre. And just looking around, it's a really good shop. We will have a little cruise around in a minute and have a look at the gear. Looking over there, I can see you've got carp tackle, which obviously we're not that interested in, really. We're we'll, we'll sea anglers, but we will put it on for those that you like fishing in a puddle. Um, looking at the sea angling stuff. Um, do you do live bait? Live bait. What, what Rag, sort of lug. All the frozen baits you can think of, crab? you know. Get a crab? Crab when it's available, yes. Right, okay. Right, I'll have a wander around, we take yeah, that and me. yeah. Cheers, sorry. Good afternoon, Plymouth Angling, Brian speaking. And that was Brian, who who is the manager here, he's not Hi. the owner. Oh, good to know they've got those. We good to know they've got those. Loads of squid jigs. We've got live, we've got live luck, fresh in. Tide rigs. Yeah. Yes. All right, buddy, not a problem. Oh, I did lift that. Okay. Oh, look at them. Get in there, the amazing thing is, is, is that you go to these different shops and you think they're all pretty much stock the same stuff, but they're not. They're all they all stock different things. You know, and if you're after a particular type of lure, it's nice to know who does that or who does those. Savage salts. Excellent, 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 excellent. Good selection of hooks. And all the Gemini fittings. Excellent. Nice selection of little rods. And this answers the question, do they do a starter kit? They've got a starter kit there for 45 quid. Flayed and reel, flayed and rod, that'll get you out on the beach, catch your mackerel, 45 quid, 45 quid. So we got out the back here, we've got, you can buy yourself a nice big soft flounder. Um, loads of coarse gear. And then of course the baits. So we've got loads of uh, mackerel, cuttlefish, small cuttlefish. 30 squid, worms, they're frozen in there, frozen blank. Yeah. Oh, hello. Nice little rods. Beach, beach supports. Excellent. Um, that's Plymouth. Uh, we haven't done every shop in Plymouth. There's a couple of shops we've missed, but um, time and tide and everything like that, we've got to get on to where we're going. So we're heading on uh, down to Padstow uh, and we'll do the rest of the shops down from Padstow down uh, in the next couple of days. Happy days. So continuing on our quest to uh, visit all of the uh, sea angling shops in the south. Uh, here we are in St Austell and we're at the uh, Low and Chai Angling Supplies. Exit only, use rear door, so let's find out where the rear door is. And hoping I'm going to meet Joe Wrigley here, who is um, a fellow YouTuber, uh, YouTube vlogger, um, who's sea fishing only channel. We'll talk about it a little bit later when he gets here. Oh look, there's parking in the back. Okay, so we've, we've started out on our, on our travels, um, and I'm in St. Austell, and I'm in the shop, which is... Low and Triangle. Low and Triangle, and which is run by... Uh, Margaret and Tracy. And, and yourself? Dom, yeah. Yeah, Dom. Okay, fantastic shop, and also meeting me here is... Sea fishing only. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, nice to meet you. Yeah, Joe, Joe Wrigley, yeah? Yeah, this is my uh, 
closest local tackle shop. I've been coming here for since I was little, really. Okay, yeah, and it's it's a, it's, it's an impressive shop. It's a good shop. A lot of coarse angling stuff as well, which is yeah. nice to see. Um, and a nice selection of lures. And we were just talking about the lures. So what do you say you've got coming in the moment, Dom? Um, so we've got some Savage Gear, um, Panic Prey, which are the smaller version of these. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're both surface lures, both yeah. a copy of the Zorus Pachinko. Yeah, yeah. Uh, work really, really well. Um, so we've got the Savage Gear ones coming in because they're slightly smaller. This is your uh, little thing that stick in your window. Yeah. Which you, uh, and we will promote your shop as much as we can and as, and as often as we can in all our videos. And I'm sure that, that, that Joe will start banging it into his videos as well. Because, yeah. you know, the point being is if we don't use our local tackle shops, they're going to go. Yeah. And then once they're gone, all that knowledge. Yeah. Do you do bait? What baits do you do? Uh, we do what live bait. What live bait? Do live? Yeah, bait? we do ragworm, lugworm, and we do all the freshwater live baits. Okay, cool. And frozen? Yeah, we do everything basically. Everything. Everything, with the exception of prawn. Oh right. We don't really bother with prawn. Okay. Nothing. What about what about peelers? You get peelers in? Yeah, we get peeler crab, soft yeah. Backs. yeah. Yeah. Got any in at the moment? Yes. Have you? <laughs> Yeah, nice selection of rods. As as all the tackle shops are saying at the moment, they're all struggling a little bit getting stock in. So um, if anything looks a little bit sparse, it's because they're waiting for the stock. And this is the lovely Trace. Hello. All right. And just to reaffirm, lots of nice fresh looking uh, yeah, blow like there. Lovely. In and out the same day at the moment. Yeah, lovely. Busy, busy. Yeah, fantastic. Just a little add on here. Um, They've got a nice selection of cocks and raw hooks in there, which is always nice to see on the wall. And cocks and raw rigs as well, which, um, again, good news. Tracy, what's your view on people buying fishing rods online? Um, I don't think that you can buy your fishing rods online. You need to pick them up, you need to feel them for yeah. weight and just, just being comfortable. You, yeah. It's got to feel right and you can't do that online. No, and, and if you're a beginner, you don't know what it is you don't know. No, that's So right. you're coming here, oh, I want to get a rod that does this. Well, the person behind the counter will say, well, no, actually, probably what you want is this. We'll only ever sell you something that, yeah. that you need for, the, yeah. for your needs. Yeah. And there's no point in selling you something that does, and, yeah. and then you're not going to catch fish. No, and, and that's the point. That's the point everyone seems to get is, is that people that run fishing shops are passionate fishers, Absolutely. generally. Yeah. And they want you to catch fish. Exactly. So, because they know you're not going to come back if you don't catch anything. That's right. Yeah. And and do you do a starter kit? We do. Yeah. Um, we tend to put them together with the customer generally for what their needs are. So, right. just so they've got everything that they need. Um, okay. There's no point having a generic one and then yeah. parts that they're not going to use. Yeah. It's got to be tailored to them really yeah, for yeah. their needs. So yeah. it's a good time to troubleshoot and ask questions and things as yeah, well. Yeah. 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 So so is this are you the starter kits there? Or is that? Well, we do little combos. So right. Like the all together little rod and reel sets. Yeah. And they come in, they're only about 30 quid. Yeah, um, all 30 quid. Well, straws wow. and ox, hit what, you know, yeah. hit whatever you want. Yeah, these Miami Jacks are brilliant. Yeah, nice. we have yeah. them in, they've sold really well because they're strong, they'll take what, especially a newie, will, mm. you know, they'll hammer it really. Um, yeah. So, but they, they can take it, they're good, they fly out and, you know, they're, they're good for what we use on the South Coast. Yeah. They work. All right. Wow. Okay, so we're in TJ's, which is also in St. Austell. Uh, another well-appointed little for tackle shop. Um, bit limited parking outside, but we have found a space, <laughs> just. Um, yeah, and he's got a good selection of course and sea in here. Do you do bait? Yes, we do all frozen and live bait. You do frozen and live. So when you say live, what do you mean? Worm? Yeah, live ragworm, lugworm, peeler crab. Oh, peelers. You get peelers as well, have you? Yeah. Ooh, okay, good. I'm, I'm going to have a, rat, a session on the RAS in the next day or so as a plan. Um, all right, fantastic. I'll have a quick spin around thing, and I've got to shoot because I've got about another. I've got another six tackle shops right. to do today. So, right. what have you got that you particularly specialise in? <laughs> that is a big mackerel lure. I've never seen one that big before. Yeah, these savage salt. Um, these things are great. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I'd be Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Good selection of stuff. Ooh. Yeah, liking all that as well. Do you do a starter kit? We do like um the combination of lots and reels, starter kit for 
Oh, what? So little, little tiny lures. You got any yeah. beach, beach starter kits We've or? Got beach over, over there, so how much? How much? If I was first time ever, I want to go and fishing off the beach for mackerel or something like that. How much would it cost me to get get rigged up? Get rigged up. Fifty quid. Yeah. That's that's a bargain, isn't it? Bargain. Right. So here we are. TJ's tackle. Fishing tackle and bait supplies, St. Hostel. A good little shop. Onwards and upwards. Right, so we've got as far as the Newtown Angling Centre, um, which is in Newtown, which isn't very far from Penzance, uh, on the southwest corner of Cornwall. Um, and this is Chris, the proprietor. See if you name remember, because my name's Chris too. Give a, a COVID handshake. Um, uh, we've just got a customer coming in. So and I'll get out of his way. Get out. So you, you better, because I'm not going to spend, well, I'm, I might spend money now, I tend to. He's Paul Fisherman. No, well, I'm actually sea fishing with CJ. CJ Fisherman, yeah. I've been watching you on YouTube. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. There you go. Famous people come to this shop. Yeah, there you go. So, you know, a fan. <laughs> I don't do autographs. Eastbourne Fisherman, I've been watching as well. Yeah, yeah, well, it's me and the Eastbourne Fisherman that are yeah. doing this campaign of, of support your local tackle local shop. shop. Yeah. So, so, and, and we're we now trying. South End, and I've been watching the Well, we did the South End. It was yeah. the first shop we did. Yeah. yeah. But here we go. Now, this is this is an Aladdin's cave. I have to say, this is an Aladdin's cave. I'm going to struggle to keep my wallet in my pocket. But I can feel it coming. Well, right. what you'll find, obviously, we've got beach rods on the right hand side. Yeah. Spinning and boat rods on the end, and spinning rods in the middle. Yeah. Junior starter rods just in the middle there. Right. Horse fishing rods mainly on the left hand side. Okay, yeah. Um, when you go into the main shop, the right hand side of the shop is mainly coarse match, pole fishing, etc. The left hand side is mainly sea fishing, with the exception of the line, which we keep out of sunlight, so that has right. to be on Yeah, the no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have our ground baits we have on the And I've just seen you've got candy kings in the window. Mm, I've got I, better I, than candy king. I, ha I must admit, I have got some. I pre ordered them and they turned up the other day, yeah, so. Um, I haven't brought any down here with me, but um, I this is one you might not have seen then. What's that? Oh, candy. Ooh. Mm. How about a Candy King hardware? Ooh. Got any little ones in there? I can't call it Candy King. No. Because that's yeah, somebody else's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're 40 grams. And and you fish it with both set of hooks? You, can, you can fish it with the. Uh, like they come with the treble on yeah a lot of people don't like treble hooks yeah but I, i've got i can put the assist hooks on for yeah, them yeah. or they can have it with the treble or they can have both it's up to them i mean i was fishing but. with a little a smaller jig than this the other night for mm. mackerel and i was getting quite a lot of hits with it that rigged that way but i was I, I tried fishing jigging it i then fished it on a straight retrieve and then yeah. i swapped the hooks over onto the tail yeah and and on the tail i was catching i was getting lots of hits on it and i did land one the little one with, yeah. with the hooks up that way yeah. up but um it, it was works just quite well yeah but that's just uh no nice i've actually had them for some time yeah and uh when mr kiddie came out with candy king i thought well, i'll beat you to it <laughs> <laughs> well no because because i think um rapala or or savage gear were doing a candy plug yeah there was a there was a candy yeah. plug out there for a while, wasn't there? Which has been a going around. I bet you've probably got some. I'll keep looking round. Ooh. Liking them. Are these something you make? No, no. They come in from China. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, then you brand them up as but your no, own. Yeah. Brand them yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have to get some pearl. Ooh, and little pearls. Look at that. High Oh dear, this is yeah. going to be an expensive yeah. visit. And then the answer to the question, does he do baits? Yes, he Clearly he does. Lots of frozen bait. Then. Lots of nice little blueies in there. And live Drive worms. Right, so carrying on with our journey, we're in Lizard Tackle and Baits, which is uh, on the Lizard Peninsula in uh, southwest Cornwall, and I'm with Tony the proprietor. Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Um, oh, pfft, again, I'm going to be lucky if I get out of here with my credit card intact. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in here. 
I know that John Locker comes in and gets a lot of his stuff here, and of course, with that in mind, there's cocks and raw hooks on the things. I know that John is a big uh, advocate of uh, cocks and raw chinos. Um, he's always talking about them, but there's loads of other stuff in here. Look at those green, green hooks. What would I use green hooks for other than being shiny in my tackle box? But I like them, semicircular claw. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, I'll, moving on, I might come back to that. A uh, good selection of sidewinders and some of the colours that for a little while were quite hard to get hold of. Uh, Savage Salt. <sighs> yeah, loving those Savage Salts. And reasonable selection of rods. And I'm sure that Tony can do your deal and can get it for you if you need it and he hasn't got it in stock. Yeah. Ooh. Fantastic. Mate, thanks very much. I'll give you a Corona handshake. <laughs> Boom. No and um, we will be in touch and we, 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 we'll make a big thing about this. I've got your numbers and everything and the postcode. Yeah, so yeah okay. We um, have the tag of being the UK's most southerly tackle shop. Right, it's the UK's most southerly, southerly tackle shop, shop, but then the Lizard Peninsula is the UK's most southerly point, isn't it? So, yeah, chiller, yeah. chiller. It's a garage, but whoa you get inside there and it is it has got it is stocked can i say that it is stocked and he does do online stuff as well so worth checking out definitely got a good range of cocks and wool um hooks um yeah no cracking shot this is the mermaid um mermaid fishing tackle. mermaid fishing tackle shop which is right on the seafront. If you look out there, there it is. There's the seafront right out of the window. What a perfect view for a fishing tackle shop. And I'm talking to the proprietor. Mark. Mark, yeah. I just run the show. You just run the show? Yeah. yeah. And? Neil. Neil. Okay, and looking round, well appointed, loads of gear. Bang on, perfect. And you can't not find it, because it is literally there, right? Mermaid fishing tackle. Right, you can book your charters from here, buy your tackle from here. He's got ice creams and he's got loads of bait. Loads of frozen bait. Do you do fresh bait? Yeah, we, we do, do, yeah. Yeah. Not afraid to be honest. Yeah. Alright, so what you got in there? Fr uh, We've got a lot of them, a little bit of rag left, but we've got rag ordered, so. Okay. Yeah. Peelers? When oh, we can when get we, all of them. When we can yeah, get they're them. a bit like rocking off poo yeah, at the moment, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, we don't do love. Because, you don't do like because well, dig your own. Well, we tried before, but people sort of come in there occasionally and ask for it, but they yeah. they don't buy it enough, and no, then you no. lose it very yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah, and, and actually, you, you can dig it here, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, down our way, it's black lug. You get it's hard work to dig for it, so no, people buy it. Beach, yeah, yeah, yeah. And black lug, you can keep wrapped up in the newspaper for ages. So well, got frozen black in. You got frozen. Yes. Right. Okay. Cool. Right. Well. Thank you very much. Thanks for your times, gents. Uh, it'll be on the YouTube. Oh, do you, can you do a start? Okay, oh, you do start a float, get to yeah, off. Yeah. So how yeah. much if I wanted to start fishing off the beach? Sixty. We do everything from your toddler. All right. Yeah, yeah. Right up to sort of eight, nine, ten, sort of early teens. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously we've got a bigger kit here as well, which is rigged up for right. older people. Um, and boat gear. You okay. can order in uh, mostly depending on what to. Yes. Oh, okay, really fantastic. Nice. And you've got a great big plastic cod. <laughs> yeah. And um, we got that as well, yeah. All right, okay. Fantastic. Right, well, we've got about as far west as I'm going. We've got to West Cornwall Angling, and this is Gary, the proprietor. Yeah. Okay, and looking around the shop, again, I might struggle keeping my credit card in my pocket. Um, very well appointed, lots of gear. Um, his shop is just off the seafront, just off the Esplanade, Penzance. Uh, I'll do an outside shot of it as well. Let's get to do the outside shot now while I'm here. So West Cornwall angling. And yeah, great shop. Bite adventures, Penzance fishing trips. Look at that blue shark, what a cracker. Um, so have a quick look around. What have you, what have you got that you're specialising, Gary? What have you got that, that no well, one else has got? Mainly sea, lures, yeah. horse. I mean, not as much on the fly fishing side. No. There isn't that much down here. No, well, uh, apart from sea fly fishing. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, a bit of course. What about if I was, if I'd never fished ever once in my life before and I'm on holiday down here and I'd like to have a go blasting off the beach, what can you do me? Oh, it'd be a kit. Cost around 
around 29 yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty precise 29.99 so what's that what's that give me what's, what does that um, that'll give you a run the reel i'm just trying to think if i've got any left because they're upstairs it's because we get we get asked that a lot a lot of people say oh, i just want to start i'm gonna have a go how, yeah how i mean I they've got the kits these are the kits here yeah yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. then you've got your boat kits here right your boat kits there um all your boat rods your spinning rods Oh, that's some and, pretty good starter uh, kits here, isn't it? Like that. Yeah. All your luggage. Right. What what baits do you do? Um, usually ragworm, uh, lugworm, frozen bait, sand eels, maggots, pellet, mo most baits really for yeah. some fishing. Peelers? Peelers if I can get them. They're yeah. a little bit hard to get. <laughs> that is some fishing reel. Yeah. That's for the tuna. I was going to say the tuna, what we're not allowed to fish for? No. No. That's for Paul Beagle. That's for Paul Beagle tuna sharks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Excellent. These wheels up here. Thin old wheels. Good price on them and all. Yeah. Right, well we got to the Angler's Den in Hale. <laughs> Similar name to the one in Pevensey. Uh, unfortunately it's not open today i've stuck him a card through the letterbox uh, and hopefully we'll give him a call i'll try bringing the mobile number but uh, there's no answer at the moment give him a call just to explain what it's about and if he'd like to stick a win stick one in his window card in his window is welcome to looking inside the shop um yeah it's quite a good selection of lures and rods so here we are sling your hook fishing tackle uh, and you can see where that is sorry On the way down to the harbour, or way down to the seafront, middle, right in the middle of Newquay. Obviously, no parking round here, uh, but didn't find it that hard to park. But of course, it, we are in the Corona world, and where everything's a little bit unusual. And already, they've got our poster in the window. And I'm in the uh, Sling Your Rook in in Newquay, which is another little small shop but a small shop that is packed with stuff uh, and i'm talking to steve the proprietor Sandil. yeah yes that's correct okay uh, how long have you been here steve uh, 11 years now. 11 years all right i mean i i've, I've known Newquay all my life i've come in fished here fished out of the harbour many times because the tackle shop used to be up at the square up there above that's the right, amusement yeah. arcade um, there used to be three at one time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that reinforces what we've been saying is that they, we're losing them. They're going. Yeah. 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 So it's it's sad times. Sad times. And of course now it's made even worse because you can buy stuff online. Yeah, but like, as you say, the biggest difference, the way that we've got to get ahead in this game, is to give uh, customer service and explain. I've got um, I've got my own okay, kind of map you. and yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got my own um, handout that I give to all the customers. Oh, do you? To where to fish. What oh, right. To okay, I might have a copy of that. <laughs> with it and everything else, you know. Yeah. And when they come in, I spend a lot of time with them. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't get online. So. No, I no. Like usually, like you say, they usually buy a lot of. When well, you buy non-relevant stuff on. Well, I mean, and I've got, I've got stuff, I've got lots of stuff I've bought online that I've never used. You know, mm. you get it and you, oh yeah, and it goes in the tackle box, never comes out again. Because yeah. you didn't really know what it was I was looking at, um, you know, and, and I don't think in millimetres, so I'll order something and it'll turn up and it'll be microscopic, and you go, oh, I thought it was going to be bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. No, fantastic shop. Um, if I was a starter, if I was never been fishing in my life before, yeah. and I came down here and said, Tony, I'm, I'm wanting to go fishing in Newquay, never fished off the beach. How much can you sell me a rod and reel for? Do you do a starter kit? Yeah, we do. We do one for. Um, at the minute, it was sold out and went from today. Oh, okay. Thirty-one ninety-five. Thirty-one ninety-five for a real M rod. Real rod, set up, ready to go. What for, for fishing? For actually, oh, feathering. What? Yeah. Oh, blimey, that's that. That is good. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of different prices in different shops, but that's mm. probably one of the better prices. Okay, so uh, bait. Oh yeah. So what baits do you do? We do um, live rag. Right. Live rag in all the time. Okay. All the time, all is the that time. farmed or is that dug? No, it's a uh, wild rag. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Get a button. Oh, you okay. Get, um, you can get a lot of rag around here locally, but unfortunately, I can't get the diggers. So no, it comes from South End. So. All oh, right. Okay. Come from South End. Uh, yeah. So oh, we right. do live 
lug, um, live rag. I try and do lug when lug is occasional yeah. when I can get in. Yeah. Um, crab again. I've got a uh, hundred pots, but we're not getting anything at the minute. So. No. Do you get hermits in your pots as well? Mm. But we don't. They, they won't go, unfortunately. So I don't bother bringing them to the shop. Oh. Just, well, frozen mackerel. Yeah. Whole fillets, uh, joeys. We do. Uh, Squid in bags and boxes. Right. Razor fish, clams, king prawns, uh, small, medium, large sand eel. Okay. Uh, Blueies. Right. All that stuff. No, I, I take it not live sand eel. You can't get live sand eel for love no money nowadays. You cannot get, but mine are fresh and blast frozen out the sea, and I oh. get them about two hours later. Oh, right. Also does an information sheet, um, which gives you all the marks around here. So, if you're not familiar with the area, you come in the tackle shop, chat to the owners, chat to Tony, uh, he'll tell you where to go and he'll give you a little map and a, and a guide sheet. Really good service. And most importantly, just round the corner from the shop, fabulous pasties, James Pasty Shop. And I'm just about to test a couple and I'll let you know how much and how, how good they are. I can honestly say this Jamie's pasty is really good. Really good. Look at the meat in that. So if you're going to come into Newquay to visit the tackle shop, don't forget to stop off and get yourself a pasty. Okay, so so whilst I've been travelling around Cornwall in the last couple of days, um, people have been talking about Gwinear angling to me. Now, it wasn't on my list. Uh, and I was talking to John Locker yesterday, and he said... Have you been to Gwinear Angling? So I'm here, I'm in Gwinear Angling. Now, one of the reasons I wasn't gonna come here was I thought it was predominantly coarse angling because they've got their own lakes here and they do a lot of coarse angling. But they also do an amazing amount of sea tackle. And I, again, I'm gonna to struggle to keep my credit card in my pocket, I think, walking around here. Um, this is Tom. Okay, yeah, yeah, so I'll, I'll give us a corona elbow, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, and are you the manager here, Tom? Yeah, or? The owner, yeah. You're the owner? Oh, okay. Right, so um, I know Tom doesn't particularly want to be on the video, and I've just got to snuck up on him. So I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. What sort of bait do you do? What sort of sea fishing bait do you do? Uh, so we do all frozen. Okay. Uh, which we have uh, stock of everything. We keep a lot of stock in of that. Right. You know, people just want to come and yeah, yeah. buy it. Yeah. Uh, we do fresh lug. We've got um, rag and uh, crab. Now, uh, that depends farmed on rag or dug rag? It's farmed rag. Okay. Solely from the fact that we can't get a good, good, good enough supply. Right. Uh, the lug is freshly dug. Okay. And we've got a fantastic digger. Right. Uh, that comes two to three times a week. And it's, and it's bow lug, is it? It's, 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 yeah, it's not, yeah. not black lug. No, no. Yeah. Um, and he's fantastic. Right. Uh, and the customers know that and they always come in and I sell it all. Okay. Um, and I do crab as well, frozen crab and uh, I've got live crab as well, but I don't actually have any at the moment. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because so I'm, I'm been that busy. One of, one of my targets while I'm down is I want to get myself a big rash. Yeah. So um, I'm going to have to go and collect it, some old backs, I think. It's supply at the moment because obviously we've got a big holiday to sit, uh, yeah. trade down here. Yeah. It's been that busy. Mm. I'm just getting. I've just. The guy's just rocked yeah. up and dropped me four pound a lug. All right. One customer's bought in and just bought four pound a lug. <laughs> so I've got, yeah. got nothing yeah, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I love those little pens. I really have got a bar. I'm very, uh, a bit low on stock at the moment, just solid because we just can't get it anymore. No, no, the, the, no. The, the, the oh, Everybody's in the same boat. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. in the same boat. Yeah. Except my phone. Yeah. 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 But, um, we do a lot of lows. We've got some on the other side. We've got some uh, light, you know, on the other side of the wall. Some bits. What, in here, you mean? Yeah, yeah. All right, so you got, yeah, you got the standard feathers, yeah. some nice bits of kit. Sentry, any fish anywhere. Yeah, most, a lot of those rods. Yeah. If if I was a starter, um, just turned up on your campsite here, and and, and I'd like to go and have a go on the beach. What could you rig me up for with a to beach? Oh, we've, got, we've got everything really. We've got a lot of people coming in, buying set up uh, startup kits for like lure fishing. Right. Uh, massive that. You know they're coming, yeah. they're spending 100, 150 pound with everything. Good good quality stuff. I I, I can't walk out of the shop without spending 150 pound just on lures yeah, to be quite honest. But yeah, full setup. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can go for a Darwin Ninja. Um, yeah, yeah. 
there's other, you know, you can get a good setup. For, for, you don't have to spend stupid money. No. Um, but we get a lot of that. We'll buy a couple of lures, a little side bag. Yeah. And uh, walk out happy. Uh, HTO nebulas. Yeah, got nebulas. We sell a lot of those. Yeah. Major craft. Uh, Daiwa rods. Yeah, very nice. The nebulas. It's our oh, I just bought a little uh, five to twenty gram nebula. Yeah. What a rod that is. Yeah, stunning. Oh. And it's flicking, just flicking little metal lures. And it, you know, for, as far as yeah. this lab was, well, further than this lab was chucking his feathers the other day. Yeah, yeah. Sell, um, we sell a lot of fish and we sell a lot of pachankos and stuff like that. Ah, I'm looking at the fish here, looking at oh, unfortunately, like everyone else, I've got no 500 G's left, but I've got some coming in, right? I, I'm gonna have to buy some gear when I'm in here, I'm afraid. Oh, sidewinders, yeah. I mean, these these pearl sidewinders, they, they weren't any anywhere for a little while, they were really hard to get hold of. We, we stock a lot of a lot of uh, uh yeah. in our business, we stock a lot of stuff because. We find supplies a problem, so to yeah. work our way around supply, we just buy yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just drive to the front door. Yeah, that's why we do quite well. People don't yeah. want to go into yeah. places and the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I have sort of gone to sleep on my journey and woken up in heaven, I think. I, I, I can't, I, I, I can only do about five minutes on the video, but I could do a whole episode about this. Yeah. Right, um, we've made it to. Padstow fishing shop. Um, we'll just have a look from the outside. Quick shot outside. Sorry. Padstow Angling Centre. Centre. Okay, it's right in the middle of Padstow, right next to the harbour. Really good shop. Run by a, an old friend of mine, Ed Schliffka, who um, used to do guiding. Does Ed still do guiding? Does he guide? Yeah. So he still guides. The rock, he's still called the Rock Hopper, or? Yeah, he is. Right, there you go. So Ed is still the rock opera. I bet he's a bit greyer than he was when I used to know him. He was grey then. Um, yeah, as I say, I, 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 I did used to go with him when he was at Triana and he did show me most of the marks along this coast, but I've forgotten most of them now. Um, look around, you see, <laughs> this, is, this is a shop for anglers. This is not really, well, I mean, I'm sure they do cater for holiday makers. We cater for crab lines yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and... but, but. This is an angling shop first, without a doubt. Look at the selection of lures. I tell you what, I'm, I'm, I know I've just seen something I want to buy. I might have to get my credit card out. Just don't tell the girlfriend. But um, yeah, lovely. And I want to pick these brains in a minute about where I can go. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm not in the market for another rod because there's some rods there I quite fancy the look of. Nice selection of hooks. Uh, Travel hook protectors, oh, that's a good idea. Kind of sounds... what, what sort of baits do you do? Uh, obviously we do all the frozen, sand eel, yeah. uh, small, medium, large, uh, squid, dirty squid, small packs of squid, uh, got some cuttlefish, right. frozen, uh, mackerel, mackerel right. fillet, um, peeler crab. Peeler crab? You got any peelers ever? Got frozen peelers, oh, yeah. Okay. We have got fresh, but it's... It, uh, we get them down when we require them. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about um, live worms? About we get them? rags sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, live worms is a luxury. Yeah. It's getting somebody to do it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And it's, a, lot, a, it's a job I wouldn't want, that's for sure. No. If I was, if I was a, a young lad, come down here, never been fishing before, want to have a go on a beach, and I want to get a beach rod and a sort of a setup to do it, what could you do that for? Uh, average right, average price is about 59, 50, 50, between 50 and 59. So between 50 and 59 would yeah, give me a rod, a reel a, line. Go for a spinner. You can, you can pick up a cheap spinner and a reel for probably about just under 40. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we're in the art and fish art, art of fishing in Weybridge, and this is, I would say, well, it is a specialist lure fishing shop, and beyond beyond doubt. The best lure fishing shop I think I've seen anywhere. Fantastic shop, great selection. Things that you won't see anywhere else. Some of these fish arrow stuff, I've never even come across that. That looks really fishy. Whew, shag pluses, I like the look of them. Yeah, and, and I'm not getting out of here without getting my credit card out because um, I came in here the other day and I, and I was shown a rod and I've got to have it. This lures. Jinkos. 
Now, every, everyone I'm talking to at the moment is raving about these espatis. Are you a fan of them or not? What do you uh, think? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, they're an interesting design. I think they're quite easy to use. So mm. um, and the bass like them. Yeah, no, um, again, the guy who snapped his rod, he lost his epitaph the other day and he said he could see it just out of reach, floating yeah. away. Um, yeah, great selection of fish lures. Uh, again, I'm going to be needing to buy some fish lures to take out tomorrow on the boat. Um, and of course, the ever popular 360 GTs. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. And um, good selection of hooks, feathers, um, what have you. And um, fantastic array of spinning rods or lure fishing rods. Yeah, you can't beat this shop. This is this is the place to come to. You do mail order? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so um, I'll put details on, on in the comments of how you can contact, sorry, Ben. ben. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so how you can contact Ben um, and and get your gear from him. Now, obviously, we are we are championing championing support your local tackle shop, but you know, obviously, no tackle shop can survive without doing a bit of mail order as well. What sort of bait? What what sort of bait can you provide? Uh, normally, you have loads of pros and sea baits. There's, there's obviously black lug, crab, razors. Um, obviously, there's things like sandhill, squid. Uh, mackerel, bluey, stuff like that. So fairly, fairly decent range of pros and stuff. Okay, cool. And, and I know you do maggots. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I escaped the other day. Yeah. Uh, and if I was to come in here and I wanted to take up, to start, I'm only here for a week, I want to start, yeah. do a bit of lure fishing. Do you do a starter kit? Yeah, I mean, starting about 40 quid, really. So anybody can have a go. Fantastic. Reached the last shop on my list. Uh, and I came here the other day, but unfortunately it was closed on a Wednesday, I'm now found. But I'm in Bodmin. Now, this, this this is a, I would describe this as being a proper fishing tackle shop because it's got lots of stuff. So, because he's been here a long time, I know because I, I last time I shopped from him, with him was over 30 years ago and he was up the town and he's been here over 30 years now. So, um, fantastic shop, loads of good gear in here, loads of good gear and, and with a broad spectrum of everything. So, you know, you want to come in and get something that's slightly unusual. I mean, like those kind of strange watch weights. I've never seen those anywhere else, but I know that they are, they work really well. Um, great selection thing, of things. And the shop is run by? Roger. Roger. Now, Roger is a, ta is a, is a rod repairer of great renown. So if you're in Cornwall and you break your rod, the, Roger is the man to come and speak to. Um, what sort of bait have you got, Rog? At the moment, I only got frozen stuff. Frozen stuff, yeah. yeah. So I got scallops, oh, scallops, razors, mackerel, and sand eels, and a bit of squid. Right. Okay. Do you, do you get live bait at all, or? It's it's been difficult with lockdown. And yeah. I'm hoping to get my diggers back on, but it's going to be a struggle. Right. Okay. Now, if I was a beginner and I wanted to come and get a starter kit, what would you do a starter kit for? I can do you something for 50 quid. 50 quid? Rod, reel, line? And something and uh, open weight ready to go, yeah. Or okay. Feathers, no trouble at all. Excellent. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, um, I'll put the details of where the shop is, because it's not an obvious shop. It's above a little supermarket. Um, but once you know it's here, it's, it's easy to find, and it's easy to get to, because it's not in a town centre, but it's knowing it's here. Uh, but definitely a shop to come and visit. Fantastic picture of the car park <laughs> and out there was a little car oh he's got his own little car i could have parked in the bloody car park didn't i yeah yeah i didn't know that all right okay i'm double yellow line so i'm keeping a look out the window make sure we don't get a ticket um how much are those Court courtland braid scissors eight quid are they might have to have a pair of them i like to spend a little bit of money in every shop <laughs> it's a struggle to keep my credit card in my pocket in a moment um yeah Roger, thank you very much for your time. I think I'm about just about out of memory on this film now, on this camera now. Ooh, they're lovely looking reels. Poseidon, 200, 180 quid, 300, 185. Oh, dearie me, dearie me. Right, so, so a lot when of people... We're gone, yeah. You won't be able to go on the internet and have your rod repair or have no. a tip ring put on no. and given a little bit of advice where to go. No, absolutely, and that's the point we're making. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah.